Terrain editors are amazing! If you haven't heard yet, Fortnite Creative 2.0 is going to be coming out at some point this year. And we got a little peek into what some of those tools are in their announcement at the end of last year. One of the things that's gonna be coming is a terrain editor. Well, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think they will. This is something we've been needing forever in creative mode, and I cannot wait for it to come in Creative 2.0. Now, to prepare for Creative 2.0, I've been kind of diving into the Unreal editor. But as I get into it, man, there's just so much to it, and sometimes my head is going to explode when I'm doing it. I don't think creative mode is going to be as complex as the Unreal Editor. I think it's going to be more like the system that Core has. Now, if you don't know what Core is, it's a really cool new system where you can create your own games and then everyone else can play them and it's really easy to use. I've played a lot of the different games that Core has, but I've never really jumped into the tools to actually create my own games within Core. So as I was trying to learn Unreal Engine, the Core guys reached out to me and said, hey, why don't you play around with our tools that are probably going to be closer to the Creative 2.0 than Unreal Editor is. So they said they'll even sponsor my video because they're so confident that their tools are so easy and awesome to use. So I agreed. And guys, I was not disappointed at all. The tools are way easier to learn and understand than the Unreal Editor. One thing I find really interesting is that Epic actually led a $15 million investment into Core. It just shows to me that Epic's really committed to this idea of a creative mode and creating this metaverse. And they're willing to invest and other people that are investing in that as well. So I encourage you guys to give a serious look at Core. I've left a link in the description below to where you can download it for free and start playing around with the same tools that I'm playing with today. Oh, and by the way, this is coming to console and mobile in the future, so you don't have to worry about it being PC exclusive. You're getting to see the first look at these tools with me. And we're gonna do everything from learning how to sculpt, to placing things like trees and grass, to building things like lakes you can actually swim into, some crazy stuff, guys. All right, let's just jump into it so you can see it. All right, I'm gonna take you through the full process once you've downloaded Core and opened it, you're gonna see this screen here where the, all of the games you can choose to play are. Today we're not playing any games, we're just gonna create, so we're gonna go up to create at the top, and then here you're gonna see other projects you may have already started. But today we're gonna create a new one, and then we're gonna choose a view framework. So this is where you're gonna see all of the like default settings that you can choose from. This is like third person, or first person, or even a top-down game at the bottom. Now today I'm just messing around with terrain, so I'm just gonna do a third person empty project and call it Mustard Terrain. All right, and then right away it creates this which looks very similar to the Unreal Engine editor But it's actually quite a bit easier to use guys. I'm gonna show you how easy this is today So uh, first we're gonna just gonna create some terrain So we're gonna go up here to the top and we're gonna hit this button right here that says terrain creator We're gonna generate new terrain. Let's play on a big map So this is like the size of the map so as big as we can get is uh, 1024 by 1024 and then we can choose the different like kind of terrain that we want So let's just take a look at a couple of these. Let's do like a normal Noisy planet. Whoa, guys, we actually made a huge planet. Whoa, oh, that's actually kind of crazy. Okay, so do you, down here, my default floor, I'm gonna delete that. And then we have our spawn point, which is this. I'm gonna pull it up here so that it's at the top of my planet. And I'm gonna hit play <laughs> just so I can run around my planet. Holy cow, guys, check this out. I'm gonna make it bigger so you guys can see better. I made an entire planet. Wait, how does gravity work on this? Does it like rotate with it? No, I'm like falling down the planet. Oh no! Dude, that's still super cool. Okay, guys, so we just made an entire planet like instantly. I'm gonna delete that though, cause I don't wanna deal with planets today. Let's just really play around with like uh, Rocky Mountains. So we're just gonna keep all the defaults so that we can just see what it generates. And holy cow, okay, there we go. Oh dude, this is nice. And it's like made a nice enclosed area as well. Let's just hit play real quick. Whoa, whoops, I'm way up in the air. Check this out. Now I've got like, uh, I'm like in a valley and I didn't even have to do anything, guys. Let's make this actually look like some mountains. So I'm gonna click over here on terrain and then there's a few options over here You'll see you can sculpt. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's just sculpt a little bit because I want to so right now I can just uh, like go over it I'm gonna click and look at this. I can like sculpt whatever I want out of this now that looks ridiculous uh, Actually, it kind of looks pretty cool now that I'm looking at it. We're gonna just gonna make this our terrain This is our terrain guys. <laughs> this is like an alien world. <laughs> All right guys. I don't know what I'm doing here I actually want to see what that looks like from down below. Yo, that's actually pretty cool I just made some crazy alien terrain. Oh man I can't wait to play with this in creative. I mean just think of the maps that you can make out of this Okay, so that was like the surface tool now. I I, I do just need to change 
match the like strength of that so that I can make some like real terrain and just kind of like be a little bit more gentle if I'm wanting to make some like hills or something. I can make it in destructive mode over here on the right so that it can like make it go down a little bit. You can see there now we're starting to get some like interesting terrain. That's not like whatever that is. This is cool. This is a really cool tool to just easily make some like awesome little hills. So let's see. There's also the shape icon here so I can just put down shape. So this is in depression mode. Let's make it additive mode over here on the right. And then look at that. But I can change the shapes. This is insane, guys. So look at all of these shapes that I can change it into. There's lots of things you can just search here. But let me just do something kind of crazy. Let's see. Uh, let's do like a skulls here. So now if we come over here, I can just click once. Boom. And look, I've got this like weird shape here. Actually, let's make it bigger. You got to make a giant like skull mountain. Boom. And look at that. I have this like skull mountains. And I did that in like three seconds. You guys can't tell me that is not cool. And then we have these other tools here. There's like a smooth tool here. So I just want to smooth this out a little bit so it's not so like jagged and like rugged. See, look, and now it's starting to like look more like smooth edges. Dang, that is so cool. Love how easy it is to like just like do what you want is cool. We've also got like trim, flatten. So flatten if we want to like flatten the area out. I guess this is how this works, guys. This looks more like smooth. What if I make it really strong? Oh, I see. If I just hold it down in one spot, it flattens that whole area out to like whatever the level is. Interesting. And then level, I don't know what level does. Let's just, whoa! <laughs> guys, look at that. Whoa, 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 what is happening here? Guys, I don't even know what's going on. Oh my gosh, is, and the more I click it, the more like it goes down and down and down. I can make this crazy looking, I don't know what this is. Holy moly. I wanna go over into paint now. This is what's really interesting to me. We're gonna create a new terrain material. Look, and this, here's the default. So you can see here, there's like grass down here on this level. So this is like the grass is on like the top levels. And then if there's, it's ever steep enough, it makes this like rocky looking terrain. And so it just automatically does that. So you can see here on the skulls, like where it's flatter, it's making it like grass on the top. And then when it's steeper, it's the rocks. Okay. And then there's different materials we can paint here. So let's just click on whatever this is. And then we can just come and paint it on. It's like, I don't know. What is this? Like some leaves, foliage, like twigs. It's like a forest ground. And then actually, I think we can put down, like we can just search here in core content tree. Let's see what comes up here. We've got, wow, there's a lot of things with a tree label. Okay, here's a big tree, like an oak tree. See, look at this now. Now we got a tree with like leaves falling down from it. This looks so cool. Next to our skull mountain. I imagine this is how Creative 2.0 is going to be, where you can just have every object that's in the library. You can just search for it. Like you just search for wall and then you can scroll through, find the one you want, drop it in. And then there you have this nice like round uh, stone wall. Okay, but uh, once again, I'm getting ahead of myself here. We're just sticking with terrain. Calm down, mustard. Let me go back to terrain and to our paint. Let's see what these other like materials are here. What we can paint. This looks like uh, some sort of a mud. And what's this? This is uh, another material to paint. Oh, this looks like snow. And we got modifiers down here. So this is how you can make it look wet. You can make your like terrain look like it's like muddy. So like check out this mud now. It's like all shiny and wet. But uh, let's mess around with the materials a little bit. So if I go into edit materials here, then I can choose different materials as like my palette that I'm selecting from. So I'm just going to change my material two to something else. Okay, there's a ton of stuff here. Whoa, what is this? We're gonna change it to stained glass. We're gonna have stained glass ground. Oh, look at that. You just paint it all on. Dude, this is so crazy. Like you can make some crazy fantasy worlds just doing this, but I wanna just keep looking at it. Okay, we got foliage. Let's check this out. Add foliage. Okay, so this, we have a ton of stuff here. So let's just put in some like, I don't know, grass. Okay, we got some tall grass here. We hit done. Oh, interesting. So then it just brought up foliage. It put grass all over the map, but it's like not really well placed here. Like, how do I paint this? Oh, interesting. We can change like the distance between the instances here. So what if we just made it? Oh, wow. I just made it so it was only 1.8 meters and now there's more grass. Okay, let me, let's make this even less. Okay, there we go. I put it at 0.7 and now we have like foliage all over the ground. Let me like just run around in this. Okay, dude, check this out. Now we got grass everywhere, but that's awesome. We can just add foliage like, like it was nothing. Okay, well, so I'm curious now. Can I add multiple foliages? Let's add like like some trees. Holy cow, guys. Whoa, look at all the oak trees. There's so many. I think we may have overdone it here. Although this is like a really cool forest now. It's just like they're totally placed randomly all over. So now when I've hit play, I've got like stained glass ground with grass growing out of it. And it's in a oak 
Forest! Okay, so now I want to add like a little lake or something. So let's make a little lake by the skulls here. We'll just make it right here, nice and big. Now there's a couple ways you can add water. What I'm gonna do is go to the community content, which is, you can see it behind me here. Uh, I'm just gonna drop my face cam so you can see what I'm doing. Right down here, you're gonna see this tab that's community content. And you can kind of look through all the different community content. You can even search for water. And then there's like, here's a default swimmable water water that I can download or like a cartoonish swimmable water. So I'm going to import the just default swimmable water. And then now I have this water that I can just drag and drop in here. And let's bring my face cam back because I know you love looking at my beautiful face. And then I'm going to change the scale by clicking up here on this scale button. And then I can just drag this to make this water as big as I want. There we go. And then I can kind of pick the like height of the lake. And then there we go. Uh, there's the lake. Let's just spawn and see what this is like. Okay, so we can jump down into the water. Okay, there we go. We can swim now. Look at the awesome like rays coming through into the water. Dude, this is awesome. It doesn't have sound effects on it though. So I don't know if we have to make some changes ourselves to do that. So yeah, I don't know how that works. I'm sure that'll be different in Creative 2.0. Like I'm sure it'll all work within the Fortnite like environments, but it should be this easy to just add a lake with swimmable water. I want to make this lake look a little better. Okay, I, I added some trees along the edges just to see what it looked like. Now we've got like a cool little like lake. Oh, Okay, this grass is a little tall, but I feel like just with a little bit of practice, I can start making really cool terrains. I can make a whole awesome like fantasy adventure land with skulls and all sorts of stuff going on. Like this is awesome what I've been able to do in just like, I don't know, 30 minutes. Like it would be literally impossible to make those skulls in Fortnite Creative right now at all. So I'm really hoping in Creative 2.0, we have a terrain editing tool where we can do stuff like this. Like I am so excited for something like this to come and there's no reason for you guys to wait. You guys can just jump into core right now and do all of this lickety split. Like this took no skill for me. This is really cool. I'm excited about the future of Creative 2.0. Um, but for now guys, go and play around on core. You never know. You just might love it.